We just got the second series of Spire Quests today and in this video we're covering exactly what you'll need to do at each step. Real quick I have some general info that'll be helpful to a lot of you. This is a guide to part 2 of the Spire Quest so if you haven't completed the steps starting with Find Tirana and ending with Don the Disguise and Strike 3 Resonant Crystals at the Spire and then Return to Raz, you can watch my part 1 video for help with those quests. I'll leave a link in the video description. Also to avoid any bugs, you'll want to make sure that you're not shot at or killed while speaking with an NPC about the Spire. To avoid that from happening, I usually make sure that whatever NPC I need to speak to is on my team's side of the map at the start of of a team rumble match and then just quit after I speak with them, rinse and repeat. Okay now on to the quests. The first is to play the Spire's message at a Guardian Outpost. You can visit any of the Guardian Outposts and it works in Team Rumble. Just land at the top of one of these mini Spires and interact with the transparent object to complete this step. Quest 2 is to talk to the Joneses. You'll need to speak with 5 different Jonesy type NPCs around the map. As far as I know all of these 5 Jones NPCs only have a single spawn location and should always be there even in Rumble. The order that you visit them in will probably be determined by where your team's battle bus is flying over in any given match. Here is a map showing where all 5 of the Jones NPCs I visited are located, marked in blue. You cannot visit Jonesy the first for one of these 5 NPCs. If you do, he'll tell you to come back after completing this step and it won't count towards any progress. At each one of these Jones NPCs, select the Spire Quest option in the bottom left section of the menu. The first I visited was Wreck Raider or Scuba Jones at Coral Castle. Second was Cabby or Racer Jones at Lazy Lake. Third was Sash Sergeant or Ranger Jones at Weeping Woods. Fourth was Grill Sergeant or Fry Cook Jones north of Pleasant Park and southeast of Stealthy Stronghold. The fifth and final was Castaway Jones northeast of Steamy Stacks. Quest 3 is to find Jonesy the first. He can be found in a house on the northwest side of Pleasant Park. Be careful trying to speak with him about the Spire if other players are nearby as they may interrupt the interaction by initiating a duel. It's probably best if you wait for him to be dueled and then speak with his ghost form which will respawn shortly after he is defeated. Again, pick the bottom left option from the menu. Quest 4 is to duel Jonesy the first. This one is a pain because only one player can initiate a duel and defeat Jonesy the first per match, so you've got to be really quick to get to him and initiate it if you're trying to do it at the same time as everyone else. It seems that you need to initiate the duel specifically to progress on the quest, so do that as quick as possible, then stay alive by building as other players maul him to death with pickaxes. I also had some frag grenades which I chucked at him to speed things along. And remember you're probably best off trying to do this in Rumble when your team's battle bus is flying over Pleasant Park. If you're doing this quest at a later date when not so many people are competing with you to duel Jonesy, take some time at the start of the match to get weapons and shields before initiating the duel. Once you've initiated and hopefully survived your duel with Jonesy the first, return to his ethereal form and speak about the spire once more to complete this chain of quests. It's just two more weeks until we get access to the final phase of Spire Quests, at which point we'll be able to unlock the Glyph Master style of Raz, and if you think you've seen someone using this style of Raz, it was probably just the Runic style which can be unlocked at level 180 and looks very similar. If you want to see more great content like the upcoming third and final part to this guide series, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day if you're here today, have a great Tuesday, and as always, thanks for watching.